All right. What you're looking at right now is a light bulb that's plugged in, but it's not working. Why? Why? Because the circuit is not complete. Okay? When I do this, I'm completing the circuit. I am not generating electricity. A lot of people look at this and they say, wow, you put the water up there and you get electricity. No. No, this is a, what's called a conductivity tester. Conductivity is, what do you think? Conductivity. Conducts the electricity. Yeah. So, what's, what's the medium that's taking the electricity when I do this? The metal. The metal, sure. Now, I can do it with ions in water. And as you know, water will conduct electricity. So, I'm just going to pour some water in here. And let's let... Uh-oh. What happened? No ions. No ions. Correct. Hey, Abdul. He gets one right. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, that, that ain't going to work, is it? Now, I'm going to test. What am I testing for? What am I going to test for? Ions. I'm going to test for ions in the water. What's your prediction? It's going to work yeah, as the own system. Yeah. Tap water. Oh, is it going to get really bright? No. No, dull. Dull? Well, here we go. Uh-huh. It does conduct. <laughs> there are solutes in that water, and that's the stuff that you drink, and it's not all so bad to get solutes. Okay, solutes are not bad. They're bad if there are things that are unhealthy, but uh, I don't think there's too much in here that's going to be unhealthy. Uh, I would be more concerned about the bacteria than I would the... the yes? What water were you using? Oh, oh, what water did I use the first time? This is not distilled. It's actually, uh, instead of distilled, we have a deionizer. Okay, what it is, it's a big tube about this big. And we run water through it like you do through a water softener. And instead of taking the calcium out, it takes all of the ions out. Okay, and what we are left with is something that won't conduct electricity because there's no ions in the water. What? No, it's really flat. the The taste of the water comes from the stuff that's dissolved in it. Okay, so when you when you drink uh, soda pop or anything like that, you know you're getting the taste of the stuff that they put into it. All right, now what we're going to do? Let's see. Was this a conductor? Uh, this is not. Okay, so that's deionized, and I'm going to. Give us three tests here, and maybe more. We're going to get some deionized water in each of these beakers. And then I have three different substances that I can put in the water. And what I'm going to do is, I, I know what this is. So I'm. this is sodium chloride. What is your prediction? Yes. When I put this in? <laughs> no. Yes? No? Really yes good. what? Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's get this guy down where we can get the, these things in the water. Okay, we're in the water. And now, let's put a little bit of salt in there. See how much it takes to get a nice bright light. Now, here we go. I'm just putting a little bit in. Uh oh. No light, what's the matter? Told you. Huh? Have to mix it? No, we don't. Are you seeing what's going on? Oh, there's a light coming on. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's getting brighter. What, what is happening to make that happen? It's Salt is dissolving. It doesn't need to be stirred. What does stirring do? Dissolves it quicker. Quicker. Yeah, because you're making motion. And so there's more collisions of the water against the crystals of the salt. Now, it's not fully dissolved yet. Uh, let's watch and see what happens now. Woo-hoo! See? It was there all the time. Yes, indeed it was. Bright light. Will it get brighter? What do you think? If you leave it like that, will it like Let's test. Uh, it didn't make any difference, did it? Okay, that means that's as bright as it can go. So we're getting a good conductivity through that water. Just as if we had the piece of metal on there. Yes? Like it only conducts the um, electricity or 
going out of it? Yeah, <coughs> when you turn it off. Oh, no, it's not from the water. No. Now, the reason it won't run out, and that's a very good question, Abdul, and the, the reason it doesn't run out is because this is alternating current, which means this is the cathode at one nanosecond, and the next nanosecond, that's the cathode. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. Okay? You're, you're, that's called alternating current, AC. Now, what would make it disappear is if I use DC, direct current. Now, this would be the cathode all the time, and on the cathode, I would get sodium metal, and on the anode, I would get chlorine gas. And pretty soon, all the salt would be gone. And we'd have sodium metal and chlorine gas in the air. Woo yeah, okay? So, we know that that's salt. Now, let's go ahead and test some of this stuff and see if we can identify it. I'm going to get rid of this salt water here and this tap water. So I have more beakers to play with. And how are we doing on time? Six. Okay, good. Now, let's go ahead and take this guy and let's see if we can determine what these substances are. What do you think? Electrolyte or non-electrolyte? Electrolyte. Okay, that means you're calling this an ionic compound. <laughs> Is this an ionic compound? We will find out, won't we, huh? Woo! Now, we got to give this guy a little help. He doesn't dissolve real easily. Ooh, go, baby. Yeah. Look at that go. All right. Yeah. Oh, see, he dissolves really slowly. you got to really work at it to get him in the solution. And I didn't put much in there. Let's put just a little bit more in. See if we can get that light bulb up. I would say that is definitely ionic, yes. This is potassium dichromate. Has some color, and some of the stuff there on the bottom of the the beaker is is glass because this particular stuff was uh, dropped. And when they cleaned it up and put it in this funky looking jar, they uh, uh, did not get all the glass out. <laughs> but it's still useful for little things like this. So we know that's ionic. Now, salt or sugar? Huh? Salt or sugar? Can't really tell by looking at it, can you? Could you tell by any other way? Sure you could. You could taste it. Now, let's test these little guys and see which is which. Okay. Sugar won't thing. Let's see what this guy does. Sugar. Salt. Oh, fooled you, huh? It's lying there on the bottom. Okay, so we know that that guy's the salt. And we need another beaker of water. We'll test it and make sure that it has not uh, got residue of ions in there that's going to make for conductivity. So let's get this guy out of the way and test this one. Ah, good. So, your prediction is... That this guy's the sugar then, huh? Mmm. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, put a lot of that stuff in. Stir it up. Ah, your predictions are right. No light. Now, if you spit, if you have ions in your spit, and you do, your spit is salty, and it will conduct electricity. Yes. You'd have to put a fair amount in there to, you know, get a light bulb going. But. <laughs> I think we'll forego that experiment right now. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you very much.